Come on now. I believe this is the first time I've ever operated this gun. <laughs> Whoop. All right. Okay, and wow, 30 yards is a long way. Bracing, bracing. <laughs> We just got back from South Dakota not too long ago here, and on that trip we hunted, you know, what you would consider a more typical late season pheasant hunt. Late season birds, typically more wily or wild acting, so a majority of the shots you get to take are a little bit further. I primarily shoot a modified choke out of my gun, and some of my misses, well, Let's say this last trip, I probably shot the worst that I have ever shot in my life. I felt like anyhow. Well, there was this miss. And then there was that miss. And then there was this miss. There was also this miss. No! And yeah, there were more in there, but we won't really get into that. Um, but it had me second guessing my shooting a little bit. Should I have thrown in a full choke or should I have stuck with the modified like I did? I just felt like the birds that I was shooting at should have died and they did not. So that brings me to our video today. We're gonna actually pattern my modified choke and my full choke with two different loads. We are shooting Kent. Fast lead ammo, I've got 20 gauge, number fives and number sixes in a three inch shell. We're gonna take a look at what both of those, oh, got them upside down. What both of those look like on paper. I have a crappy old archery target and a, as close as I could get to a pheasant sized target to shoot at. I've got my range finder. And of course, without further ado, the pink gun. Let's get started. That ought to about do it. All right, so we have four targets. We're gonna start with number fives. We're gonna shoot one shot at each individual target. And then the winner is going to be, we'll be able to see a, a pretty good distance on uh, a pretty good idea of the pattern itself. Let's go with that. Uh, as well as we will be able to tell our number fives patterning better, our number six is patterning better. And then what does the difference look like between a modified choke and a full choke? To start with, we've got modified choke in. We're gonna be pulling out one of these number fives. Again, it's a three inch, 20 gauge load with ounce and a quarter of shot traveling at 1300 feet per second. All right. Okay, and wow, 30 yards is a long way. Bracing, bracing. Woo! That packs a punch. Let's take a look and see what that has to say. All right, so you can see here, I held right on the center of mass of this bird, and this is my modified choke with number fives in there. There's a few other pellets in here. It looks like we are fairly, uh, fairly blown out there at 30 yards with a modified choke, though. Hmm, let's get the next one. All right, so. We've got one target down. We're gonna go ahead and label this modified number fives. Let's shoot a number six out of the modified and then we'll change choke tubes. I'm gonna take this bad boy back down here. This will be our modified number six target. Modified choke, that is. Again, these targets are at 30 yards. All right. Batman! We've got three inch number six shot. Ooh. Modified choke. And Holding right on our bird. Let's go take a look. I am, uh, I don't know if I'm feeling more confident or less confident. Why don't you guys throw in the comments below, how many 
pellets, since there are more pellets in the, the number six load, because they're smaller, you can pack a couple more in there. How many pellets are we gonna have out of our number six shot? Whoo, that doesn't look good at all. Huh, well, let's go ahead and swap that choke out and see what the full choke looks like. Come on, come on, Ugh, got it. All right, we're gonna set that sheet right here under the number six box. Now, we're gonna go ahead and throw on here. Number six, full. And then we got this here. We'll put number six, oh, number five, full. All right, folks, so we have run the two rounds through the modified choke. We got number sixes, we got number fives. We're gonna go ahead and change the choke tube out here from our modified choke to our full choke. Well, it definitely looks like this modified choke could use to come out of there. Maybe get a quick uh, wipe down. All right, full choke. We got the old single liner. Let's throw this in here. Then we'll run out a target. We will start with, uh, let's start with the number sixes. Number six full. Okay, good. We are flipped over to the four. We're gonna run a target out there and then we're gonna fire our two shots and see what kind of conclusions we can come up with here. That's the number six full. All right, here we go. Number six, full choke. 30 yards. Woo! Sounded good. Let's go take a look. Oh, wow. I'm liking that a whole heck of a lot better. We've got over double the pellets in here. And it looks pretty good otherwise, I mean, there's, they'd probably double all the way around with those sixes on there. Let's go ahead and get this number five switched out and see, and see what that looks like. Okay, so number fives, Full choke. Let's see what we can make happen here. There are a lot, we can see it better on the back side. There are a lot of holes in this piece of paper. I'm thinking right there that that's gonna say dead pheasant all over it. All right, so you're gonna go on our number six pile. Let's grab a number five. Number five, here we come. Let's double check our range on this. We are exactly 30.0 yards. All right. Last but not least. Woo! Let's go have a look-see. Based on what I saw out of the number sixes with the full choke, I'm feeling pretty confident that these number fives, they're gonna look good. Heck, there's uh, not very many. That didn't pattern very well at all. Huh. Well, let's pull this down and go take a look. Let's do a quick count and see kind of what we came up with. All right, before we finish this up, I want you guys to drop in the comments below, what do you think is my best choke round combination? I am gonna be shooting these Kent three inch shells because I got a whole case of each of them, but are we gonna shoot the number sixes? We're gonna shoot the number fives and I'm gonna stick with the modified choke that I've uh, tried and true, or are we gonna go full choke for our last trip up in South Dakota this year? Let's take a look. The last one that we shot here was our full choke number fives. I'm counting on the back. One, 40. 40 total pellets in the paper. Now, of those 40, I've got, you can see it a little better on the back side here. One, eight that actually even hit the pheasant. Eight. Modified choke number fives. We've got one, 50, 51, 51 pellets in the target. And of those 51, we've got two, 16, 17 pellets in the body. That's surprising. Modified number sixes, we've got one, 44, 44 in the pheasant, and three, 
11 of them hit the bird. And then we've got the full number sixes. And lordy, one, 68. Did I miss any others on here? We got 68 on the page. And of those, three, 21, 21 in the body. As they pan out here, number six is full. 68 in the body, uh, 68 on the page, 21 in the body. Number six is modified. 44 on the page, 11 in the body. Number fives, modified. We've got 51 on the page and 17 in the body. And last but not least, we've got 40 on the page with our number fives in full and eight in the body. So in conclusion, it looks like I need to be shooting either modified number fives, which gave me a total of 51 on this piece of paper, 17 actually in the body of this pheasant, or I need to switch over and shoot my full choke with number sixes, which gave me a total of 68 pellets in the paper, 21 total in the body of the bird. So there you have it. You get to see the importance of why you should pattern your guns. You should figure out which round is gonna work best for what you're doing. I believe that as we head back up there, I'm probably gonna switch over. I'm gonna try and shoot some number sixes with that full choke. Thanks guys for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun and we will catch you next time. Mm -hmm.